Okay, so the next problem is use calculus to find the volume of a cap of a sphere with height h and radius r. So if you're not given the picture, then you're going to want to draw it out first. And this is what it's going to look like. So this is a sphere, and then you're going to try to find the volume of this cap right here. Okay. Um, so to find your variables, r is the radius of the sphere and h is the height of the cap. So then the area of each cross section is going to be pi times x squared where x is your radius and it's changing each time. So this is kind of right here is what your cross-sectional area would look like and then x is the radius that's changing. So if you know that the area of any circle is going to be x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared then you can solve for x squared, um, and you'll end up with x squared equals radius squared minus y squared. And then you can plug that in for x, and your area formula right for there. Um, and then to find the volume of the cap, you're going to take that area and multiply it by the change in y and it just yeah and so then you would integrate it from r minus h to r because r minus h is from right where the cap starts and then r is from the center to the top of the sphere so then after you have all that and you know how to do it, then you, you can integrate it um, simply in terms of y. Um, and you end up with pi h squared times the quantity r minus one third h. And that's the final answer.